It's hard to throw warehouse parties, so I'll just say this. So I, I didn't play the rave scene, but I definitely partied on the rave scene. They played everything from like house music to techno to like new wave to whatever you call it back then, the shaman. Like we already go to these parties, now you're just calling it something different. It's a rave. It's like, yeah, like that's totally Mr. Good Rave. That's where like I kind of fell in love with going to parties. My mom was so pissed. She was like, you put my fucking phone number on this tape? I was like, how the hell am I supposed to get booked? <laughs> So everybody started calling it the acid track because most of the people that were going crazy to it was high as fuck. So I was going to raise when I was 16. My cousin was like, oh, you gotta meet this guy. We were literally going every weekend. And all of a sudden you look out and you see everybody dancing and everybody is so happy. You're either all the way in or you're all the way out. I think the plane race was cool at times, but also not cool at times. <laughs> like literally as soon as we left, we got busted. Jins, I just want to keep throwing parties because the parties I throw now are more like creating a, like an experience. Fog and sound systems to wee hours in the morning, like that's that's what I'm happy to see is that it's it's continuing or the spirit of it all is continuing.